We are currently in a gas station because it is pitch black and this is the only place we can find with any light. I'm here with Jesse Watson and we're gonna go shoot some time lapse. So I'm here with Jesse. We're gonna head down to Organ Pipe. We're gonna shoot some time lapse. We're hopefully gonna see the Milky Way. There's, there's not a lot of cloud cover tonight. Um, but what gear are we taking with us to shoot with? So we have two different motion control setups. We have a Modimo and a dynamic perception slider setup. Cool, cool. So we're gonna get some nice night shots with cactus and stars. And, and a little bit of motion. Wicked, right. So we're gonna go drive there and if we can sort out some light, we'll see you when we get there. <laughs> Bye. So this is a organ pipe cactus, which uh, differentiates from the saguaro that's right there. Something cool that you might not know is a lot of times the saguaros they they end up like they uh, they germinate and they seed under what's called a nurse plant, and the nurse plant kind of ends up like shielding them from the harsh sun rays and everything. And then as the saguaro grows, it ends up becoming kind of parasitic and sucks all the water and ends up killing the nurse plant. Oh, wow. Yeah, one thing I never realized until I came out was just how big some of these cactuses are. And they do look kind of cool. All right, tell me about the choya. <laughs> they break off into little balls and they get stuck on your shoes and as you're walking they'll like climb up into your your leg your <laughs> ankle and then you try to get them off they have these little sheaths that stick inside your skin and they just stay there like annoying you can never get the little sheath out and you have like these little red dots for the next like month or two. Oh wow right are we heading back to the car and we are we shooting here no I just wanted to check that out um, maybe off the right side so we get our Milky Way is going to be coming up from over there. Right. So, if we shot right here, I guess we could aim it low and make it seem like it's not on the road. Yeah, you if we did low, you wouldn't really be able to tell. Milky Way. But the mountain, the mountain's going to be blocking some of the Milky Way over there. Yeah, we can't see the mountain on the video. <laughs> Get one of those lytros and shine it over there. The really bright one. <laughs> so the lytro lights are really, really cool. They're lighting you up really, really well. I don't think they'll light up a mountain. You just need a little more power. <laughs> See, there's a nurse plant. As the swirl starts to get larger and larger, yeah, yeah. it'll start sucking out all the water that's around this area. It will eventually kill this tree. Oh, wow. That's a baby swirl. Wow. And you can actually see this guy like setting up, wrap around yeah. the top. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to see what this, this cactus looks like with this lighting. I don't think we'll want to shoot here. I think there's too much brush in the foreground, but um, kind of lining it up to see where the, the Milky Way is going to be mm -hmm. and see if there's a, a shop because it's actually really cool. There's an organ pipe and a swirl right next to each other. And then uh, if you can turn off the light, if you just want to record the back of the screen, we'll do a test shot. It's going to be, we're just doing six seconds at 800. Uh, we'll do do eight seconds just for it. Add a little extra. So we have a swirl off to the right. That's that that thick long guy right there. Mm -hmm. And then we have the organ pipe, which is kind of like mini swirls closer together, kind of like an organ that you see in a church. And then this guy with the little red flowers on top stringing out. That is an ocotillo. Let me get a little more exposure in here. So we're at 
10 seconds, 1600 ISO, and check this out. Are you wide open here or at 2.8? Uh, I'm, I'm one stop down, I'm at F, F4. Four. Yep, I'm catching some of the green from the cactuses. And so with this, uh, if we're shooting with uh, like the Milky Way or after the, the moon goes down, I would shoot a little bit brighter. That way once that extra light goes down, we'll still get some foreground exposure and pick up the stars that are gonna come up after the moon goes away. So that's uh, the thing with time lapses. You wanna shoot for the duration of your shot. You can you can generally change your exposure or like do um, um, like ISO bramping or changing the, the exposure time. And after you shoot a while, you can tend to kind of pick out those exposures and uh, pretty much get a, a good middle tone. You don't want to overexpose yeah. or you don't want to underexpose. You, you, you just, your eyes just get used to the kind of light and... Yeah, you get used to, and it's, it's different with every camera too, because you have different dynamic ranges. Yeah. So with that little Sony that I have in there, I can't push that, that dynamic range as much as I can with my Nikons. So every camera, every situation is a little bit different. And once you use both, you get used to exposures. Um, or get used to the scenes that you're shooting and the, the cameras that you're using, uh, it gets a little bit easier to kind of judge what, what exposures and what settings you use through the duration of your time lapse. <laughs> it's weird because like, I want to look right here, but I know I should look right here. Yeah. All right, I like this spot uh, because we've got the organ pipe right here and the Milky Way should be rising over the mountain within an hour. And by that time, the, the moon should be a little bit further away, so we should be able to see it and have some nice foreground lighting with the, uh, the moonlight. And then I'm gonna set up another camera back at that Saguaro and Ogun pipe that we, we passed by a couple hundred yards back. Um, and the cool thing is like the ripples within the cactus, as the moon's going down, it'll get that shadow transfer on the ground and within the cactus. So cool things to show with time lapses like shadow and light play. Now this is a Corpius Christus, the most poisonous spider in the world. I have no idea what it is. If you look on the ground, you'll see all the little balls from the, uh, the choya that have broken off. And this will stick on you like as you're walking. That's why you have to watch your step. Oh. Is because like you'll step on it and then it'll like kind of like get on the side of your shoe and you'll hit something and then it'll like bounce and jump up your leg. And you like the way it hits and like when you get something that's reverse barb that goes into your leg you feel like it's a spy or like a, a snake that just jumped in you'll jump and you'll hear people scream it's happened to me once that's the main thing i look out for when i'm walking through the desert is freaking choya cactus mm -hmm.